wonderful world with some amazing sights, sounds. And we must think how lucky we are if we are privileged to enjoy them. But some people are not. unfair society because their leaders, their dictators only think about one thing, themselves. It is a brand new week here, Monday the 8th of November 2021. A warm welcome as always to the channel. And for those new people who just come across this or stumble, welcome along, do hit the like, do hit that subscribe and do share. Very good news. The mugs have arrived and they are on sale right now. $15 per mug and I will tell you more about that a little bit later at the end of the show. And all the information that you'll need to buy them in the United States of America, in the United States of America, will be in the description below. Did I say that? And at the end of the show as well. Now, let's get into the free gorges and let's get into some of the regular things which have been happening over there. levels first of all. Kutan is up still 175.09 but the Free Gorges is down at 174.64. This is centimeter difference compared to yesterday or the day before. So if Kutan is up later on the Free Gorges Reservoir will be up as well. And still the webcam to my knowledge, and I can't find any other access, is not available at this time. I wonder why. It all leads to speculation. And the weather just looks like this. It is very, very plain indeed. It seems like all the rain that has been hitting central China is all disappeared and it's in for a dry stretch for the next couple of days. Just doing an update on a, a lot of bits and pieces for you. Um, earthquakes, we do this about once a week. How many earthquakes have there been in China? There has been one on the 20, no, no, sorry, November the 5th in Tibet, hitting countries like Bangladesh, Nepal, India, and China. Is there for you? And we don't know the depth or the, we do know the magnitude, but not the depth. But Again, earthquakes in China are pretty common, and you can see near enough every week there will be one. But usually, and I would say usually, it is a low magnitude. And if it's a deep one, then a lot of people may not feel it. We do have the news coming up a little bit later on. I think I got two pieces of news for you. But some earth-shaking facts about the Free Gorges Dam. For those people who've just joined us, this may be interesting to you. The Free Gorges Dam cost $37 billion, billion dollars to build way back in. It started being built in 1994 and partially completed near enough in 2006. Why did it cost so much? It's something that I want to do a separate video on about the corruption in China. And why does it have all these stories constantly going out? Because it shouldn't cost 37 billion to build, maybe like half that amount, but it's just pure 
a lot of that money went to pure corruption again. What was the total cost with the shoddy workmanship or the non-high grade, unverified by international engineers, no one knows. I think I did mention this yesterday. 13 cities, 140 towns, more than 1,600 villages have been submerged under the world's largest reservoir. An official count, now official, China transparency in numbers, not the best in the world. 1.3 million people were relocated. Are they all happy? Well, I would say some are. They may have got a free house. But taking a farmer out of his farmland and putting him into a factory to work may not be his cup of tea. But these people just didn't have any choice. The world's largest hydroelectric dam, it generates 11 times as much power as the Hoover Dam. Now, these facts and figures, or this fact and figure in itself, does come from the Free Gorges Management, the Free Gorges Corporation, the CPC, the CCP, the Chinese government. Yes, because it's like three, four times as big as a Hoover Dam, you would expect it to output a lot more. If it's 11, I sort of think that's an over-exaggeration. This one is definitely earth-shaking. By shifting a significant mass of water, the dam will literally slow the rotation of the earth. It's nothing to get worried about because it's 0 0.006 nanoseconds. But there is an amazing feat. And should it be done for that? We really don't know the consequences in the future. So, good or bad, don't know. Will it affect us? Possibly not. In the future, who knows? Three Gorges was Mao Zedong's idea. He even wrote a poem about it entitled Swimming. And they always wanted to, even when in the 1920s, when it was the Republic of China, wanted to harness the power of the Yangtze River. And I don't know how true this fact is, or again, does it come from Mao Zedong's little red book, It Was My Idea, and but there was no money at the time when he was alive to build this colossal monster of a dam. Since partial completion in 2006, there have been reports of cracks, landslides, ecological deterioration and acclimation of algae, water becoming murkish. And yes, we have done countless videos on cracks, landslides, fish, and you can see the water differences because this concrete object in the way of something of mother nature. And one more earthquaking, earth-shaking fact. Although the dam was supposed to control flooding on the Yangtze, 2010 is on track to be the worst flood ever, or years ever. We did have the floods last year, and comparing, I still think the 2010 floods in the Three Gorges on the Yangtze were worse than we had in 2020. Okay, for those people getting excited about the mugs, they're nearly there, nearly there. The Global Times, what's happening in China news, the China newspaper, the Global Times, their headline is actually this, Tracing COVID-19 Origins. Okay, and this is a editorial that's been running for a couple of weeks now. And go to the Global Times and you can just click on the banner, it's always there, and it always, doesn't defer to China. It constantly goes to other countries. And there's one thing that all these experts, I do believe, forget, the logistics of it all. To the average person, you and I, it doesn't make sense. Now, what are these kids all happy about? Well, this, this is that China did win the 19th Asia e-sport event with a game called League of Legions or Legends, L-O-L. -L. 
and they won over South Korea. This is sort of strange because the government really wants the people like this to stop playing computer games and start getting educated. And this is me being just totally wrong and totally not politically correct. These guys are never going to get a girlfriend, apart if their girlfriend was a robot, possibly. But that's about it. I'm someone who just doesn't like computer games and just don't see the point. I think the people who get incredibly rich over esports are not the competitors. They may get a couple of million dollars, but the actual creators of the game are the people who get the cash. Right, just one more piece of news from the Global Times. The possibility that US military defeats PLA in Taiwan Straits is becoming less and less. This is from Chinese state media, okay? And it's just pure propaganda, sorry, speculating that if there was a kind of situation, China would win and the world would lose. And obviously, we hope it never happens. But I can't see in any light of day that this would happen. The United States has a lot of experience. Now, let's not go down the political side of this, but let's say they do have a lot of experience. While China, they may have a bit of hardware, not as much as America. They do have a million troops, a lot less, sorry, a lot more than America. The experience they just don't have. So, this is sort of like bullying and propaganda tactics that the CCP is putting in newspapers for the English people to read. Okay, so let's talk about the lighter side of today and let's talk about these amazing mugs that you can buy in the description below. Now, at the moment, just in the United States, United States of America, they cost $15 each, $15 each. And you can pay by PayPal and you have the link in the description below. Now, this is a, the money is not coming to me directly. This is someone in the United States, a friend of mine, a viewer, a subscriber of mine, and thought this would be a great idea. Now, the money, now you think I'm going to be rich over this. So no, all the money is, you could say, a NPO, a non-profit organization, and once all the mugs near enough are sold, the person distributing mugs will send the money here and I will put this to a orphanage. I will put this for the children of Cambodia one way or another. I will try to find an NGO and we will buy some rice, food, uh, dried goods, clothing, shoes, slippers for these kids who may not have parents because of what happened in the situation of this country not so long ago. So it's for a good cause and with that I will do a video. And it would be great if you do buy a mug to actually send me an email with you drinking a cup of coffee with the mug mm. or a cup of tea. That would be excellent. So only $15 a pop. Buy 20 cups for all your friends for Christmas. They will love it. <laughs> but this is just a NPA, a non-profit organization. You could say no one's making any money from this. That's it, near enough. So I hope you can help with that, just $15. That's my advertising out the way. Woo. And that really is about it for today on Monday the 8th of November 2021. Thank you as always for your time. A reminder, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Please make sure if you have subscribed, check that if, if you are still subscribed. Sometimes it mysteriously gets taken away. The thumbs up is absolutely awesome. And share the news with your friends. My name is James. This is the James Neal Cooper channel. Thank you, as always, for a brief moment of your day. Bye-bye for now.